For exercise five, we have Diana Inc. issued $100,000 of its 9% five-year bonds for $96,149 when the market rate was 10%. The bonds pay semi-annually. Prepare an amortization table for the first three payments. So we have a couple things. We have bonds that sold for $96,149 when the market rate was 10%. So the market was at 10%. Our bonds were at 9%, so we had to take a discount when we sold it. So we took less than what we were asking for. The bonds were $100,000. We took less. So we had $100,000 bonds. We had to sell for $96,149 because nobody wanted our bonds because we were only paying 9% interest. So we've got a difference in between what our bonds are, what we're going to have to pay back in the end, and what we actually got. So we, we took a loss when we sold them. So we're going to have to amortize that. We're going to have to stretch out that loss over the life of the, of the bond. And so it wants us to repair basically that stretching out of the loss over the first three payments. So we have, we're going to start on January 1 is when it was issued. So the carrying value at this point is 96000 149. That's what we sold them for. Then our interest, cash, oops, cash interest payment. That's actually really easy to calculate. It's a hundred thousand times nine percent times one year. So actually, I'm just gonna put it down here. So the interest is equal to a hundred thousand times nine percent interest times 0.5 or half a year because we pay interest in the first half and then the second half. So the calculation for the interest should be $4,500. And it should be, actually we don't pay it the first year. We calculated it there. We, we don't pay interest when we just issued it. We don't start paying it till the next. Um, so I'm not just delete that. So then we pay it in the next six months, and we pay it in the next six months. That doesn't change. That's pretty straightforward. So actually nothing, nothing should be in these boxes. It should be blank. Let's gray them out. So we start 96149 That's the day we sold them. Then six months in, we pay an interest payment. Okay, I'm going to bounce really quick to this figure right here. So we've got, this looks very similar to, it's slide 22. You take, so the carrying value, what we sold it for, initial, initial carrying value is the issue price. Then the cash interest payment, that doesn't change. We figured out what out the, all those were. So the interest on the carrying value is market rate times the carrying value. So the carrying value is this, and the market rate was 10%. So if we take this times 0 0.10 times half a year, got to remember that, we get 4807. Then we're going to bounce back to our PowerPoint says the difference between cash interest payment and interest on the carrying value. So the difference between cash interest payment and interest on the carrying value is what we're going to put there. So let me take this. Let's try that again. Difference between cash interest payment and the interest payment on the carrying value. So in this case, we're actually going to be the opposite. It's going to be over. So the difference between those two is 307. I can do that one in my head. And we're going to amortize this amount of a discount because remember we had to sell our bonds for less than they uh, for less than they were $100,000 because we were paying lower interest rate. This one it doesn't act, is a premium. Amortization of premium. So your interest 
your carrying value is actually going to go down. You're going to lower your interest with a premium by this much because you were overpaid. You, you got a gain. When it, you have a loss, like you did on this one, this column is going to be more. So it's a little different. Just remember the amortization of the discount or the premium is going to be the difference between these two categories. It's not going to be a negative amount. It's just going to be the difference between these two columns. So then the carrying value, let's just go back just so you can see, prior carrying value minus amortization. So minus this column. So this one minus that gives us our new one. So we're going to take 96,149 minus the discount and we're at 90 Oh, we probably need to add it, don't we? This plus that. 96,000. Okay. So I wonder we, this would probably be helpful. For, there we go. I'm looking at the wrong one. If you look at 23, it would be prior carrying. Um, this is for a discount, amortization of a discount. Difference between cash, interest, payment, and interest on carrying value. Like I said, it's just the difference between the two. You can see that this column is higher when we sold it at a discount versus when we sold it at a premium. This column is lower than what your interest payment is. When you sell it at a premium, it actually lowers your interest. When you sell it at a loss, it actually increases your interest. So the prior carrying value plus the amortization of the discount for one that's a discount. This one is, you can subtract it, prior carrying amount minus amortization when you have an amortization of a premium. So important differentiation there. So we add it for this column. Then the next one, interest on the carrying value. So we take that times interest on the carrying value, market rate times carrying value. So the market rate was 10%. The amortization of the discount was the difference between the interest payment and the carrying value. Oops, I made an error that I told you earlier not to. I forgot to put a half a year. I did it for a full year. And then the difference between those two is 323 and then we take this prior amount and add the amortization of the discount so 96,779 then for the interest on the carrying value we take that and multiply it by the market rate so 10 percent then the difference I did it again I need to take it for a half year because it's semi-annually the difference between the two of those, 339, and then add that plus, what did I do? That plus 339. So 97,108. They're a little complex, a little confusing. I would recommend that you use these two tables. Um, when you're working through them and if you have to go through each step looking at what you do to them completely normal but the really the key concepts are just that with an amortization of a discount or the amortization of a premium whether you take a loss whether you take a gain you have to stretch that loss or the gain over the life of the bond if you take a loss it increases your interest expense if you take a gain it lowers your interest so key points, when you have premium or a discount, have to be amortized over the life. And if you have a gain, it lowers your interest. If you sell it for a discount, it increases your interest rate. For six, we have um, Oak Branch issued 700,000 5% 10-year bonds when the market rate was 4%. They received 757243 Interest was paid semi-annually, so half a year. Pay attention to that. Prepare a bond table for the first three years. So 
the carrying value when they sold it, they sold it for seven fifty seven two forty three. So they sold it for a premium. And these are actually blank. So the cash interest payment, these are the easy ones that we can fill in, is seven hundred thousand five percent and it's paid semi annually. So seven hundred thousand times five percent times half a year. 0.5. So 17,500 and we're going to pay that each each time each uh, 6 months. So 17,500 70,500 17,500 that doesn't change. Interest on the carrying value. So the carrying value and the interest we need to multiply it times the market rate. So that times 0.04, which was the market rate, and make sure we times it by a half a year, otherwise that's going to make our calculations wrong too. So 15154 Then amortization of the premium, our interest is going to be higher than what our carrying value, our interest on our carrying value, so we take that minus that. Then the carrying value, we minus the sum amortization of a premium. When it's a premium, we minus it from the carrying value to get our new amount. So interest on the carrying value, we multiply times the market rate of 4%. And remember to make it a half a year, 0.5. And then the difference between the cash interest payment, interest on the carrying value, we subtract that from the prior amount, so that minus that, and we can do it again. We can take that times the market rate, which is 4%, times by half year. I'm going to forget every single sink in time. And then the amortization of the premium is the difference between these two. Because it's a premium, we subtract it from the prior one. If it was a discount, we'd be adding it. Then, again, we take that, multiply it by the market rate, Oops. and by half year, because I keep forgetting to do that. Where did I get that? Then this is the difference between these two columns. Then we subtract it from this, so minus that. Then we can take this times the market rate times 0.5, so I keep forgetting that. I don't know how that worked, but that filled in the next one. Um, which is the difference between those two, and then we subtract that minus that. And then for our very last one, before I make some comments on what we've been doing, see as this is going down we are our carrying value is going down so by the time we get to the end of the, this bond which is a 10-year bond so it's going to take a while to get down to the end of it this carrying value will match 700,000 it will match what um, the bond was issued at the 700,000 whether we got it or not this amortization of the premium were easily or slowly chunking it away from the carrying value. So at the end, we hit that 700,000. Likewise, when we did it for the premium, or excuse me, where we sold it at a discount, we sold it lower than the, than the 100,000. So each time we're increasing it little by little by little. So at the end, we'll be at 100,000 over here. So you can see when you have the discount, you're adding, you're increasing the carrying value as you're going through it. When you're amortizing a premium, you got overpaid for it. 
you are decreasing it as it goes on. So I'm going to go over five and six with you. So five, let's see if there's anything weird or different about that one that I want you to know. So the first thing, you're not going to put anything in those columns because that's when you issued it. It says you issued it for 565 710 and it was a 600,000 so you're going to have an amortization of a discount so you're going to add this column to this one um, interest it's paying semi-annually so remember to multiply it by 0.5 so let's figure out what the interest payment is the interest is 11 percent so Interest equals 600,000 times 11% times 0.5. So 600,000 times 11% times 0.5. So they're going to get paid $33,000 each and every time. interest on the carrying value is the market rate times what the carrying value was. It's nicely written for you. So 0 0.12. Remember to multiply it again by 0 0.5 because that's a half a year. So carrying value times the market rate times half a year. So 33943 Amortization of the discount is just the difference between these four, two columns. So 943. And because it's a discount, we add it to this column. So that one, and then we're going to add that. Okay, let's do one more, and then I'll let you do it on your own. So interest on the carrying value is literally what it says, interest on the carrying value. So we take that amount times what the market rate was, 0.12. Oops, and we gotta do it by 0.5 to do half a year. So 33,999. The difference between these two columns is 999. And we add it. Because it's a discount, we're increasing this column as we go through it. Okay, so I think you're okay on that one. And if you have to, refer to slides 22 and 23 to walk yourself through it. For exercise 6, we have um, Waldron issued 400,000 bonds. Okay, so first off, let's clean out those, clear out those. We don't need to write anything in there. 400,000, well, what they pay for? I'm getting ahead of myself. The bonds were issued for 421, 844. So they were issued for a premium. Um, the cash interest payment was 7% and it was paid annually. So it would be 400,000 times 7% times one, it was one year. So 28,000 for each interest payment. I might keep shrinking my boxes, but I guess it doesn't hurt anything. There we go. Interest on the carrying value. So the carrying value is over here, and then we multiply that by the market rate. And the market rate was 5% times 0.05. So $21,092. Amortization of the premium, so the difference between these two columns. That minus that. 6908. 
which it's doing some goofy rounding because that should be actually show you 80 but it's I'm not gonna mark you wrong for having different it's rounding in different spots and then amortization of the premium we're actually subtracting it we're lowering this amount down to what um, what the purchase price should have been that 4,000 so it's gonna slowly go down each and every time we do it so on this one, remember carrying value times the market rate, which is 5%. The difference between these two columns is the amortization of premium. And because it's a premium, we're subtracting it from the carrying value. And you should be okay with those ones.